Hello guys, now here we are in my school management application developed in Microsoft Access and I'm going to show you how to admit or add students to this database. Okay, so we dive into it. Before you can admit students into the database, you will first have to set up your classes and then your department because students are segregated by classes or departments indeed however this system can also be customized to, to suit the preference and operation of every school depending on wherever that you are you feel free to contact me for uh, the source code however there are some terms and conditions also so now uh, we we have to add the classes and departments we start with departments so we go to departments now the first department i'll add is a primary department so you can choose to assign any code to it the code is pri the department is primary the department is primary okay so now we save okay so you can see that we have department master now you can select a, a staff member to be a department master but because we don't have staff members so now we leave the department master blank for now so now let us add one more department so we say ghs sorry let's go back so the department's name will be junior so junior high school okay so now here to be same so now we've managed to uh, add two departments and as you can see we have all of them here as far as admission is, con uh, is actually concerned as you are when you add a department for instance primary we click set admission fee so now what are the admission fee for primary so you do the settings let's say 200 here let's say 400 here let's say 120 here let's say 45.90 here let's say 30.5 okay so now it means that students admitted this is the total admission fee for primary so we save this setting now we go to the ghs department so here in ghs we go to say department now ghs says a thousand so this one is 500.9 300 120 and then 50 cities so once we're done we also save it so now our admission uh, and department are set now so we close now we go to classes as well so we are going to add classes over here too the first class we are going to add will be jhs1 so we say jh1 as a code you can choose to add any code codes define your own code so jhs let's say one here now i will say so you have successfully added a new class guys let's click here too so now we say jhs2 so for instance now we can say j.h.s and 2 okay so now let us add so you can, you can click here to see all the classes you've added so far so let's say p p2 which is class 2 so let me add class 1 so class 1 and that's sorry so this will be p1 and now class 1 i will say so let me add one more class so i will say p6 now I'll say class six okay so now we are done okay so we could click here to exams and we can also print the class list here but if we click at any students so let us go move on and add students okay so now students here you can add students that are already in the school by using this session so let us first try here so we go to students okay so now how do you add a student because we don't have people here any students inside so we start with the first student so let's say sandra so sandra isel ahen so you click here she's a female web date so web date let's say 12 november 2010 and now the system is telling her that this student is 12 years so central region is okay address let's say what you are say now religion christianity hobby so let's say music now once you click class you have a lot of classes here so 12 years let us assign her to jhs2 class code is j2 department is jhs 
Okay, so now you can click here to assign a student to house or click here so the house is West Wind. Now we assign her to West Wind. You can type the parent telephone number here. Now, once you come in here, we have the parent information. So currently it is the system default. If you want to add the mother's information, you click mother information. And now let's add the mother. So let's say Abigail Dockers. Abigail Dockers. So occupation, let's say nursing. So town, the same town. Now you can add the total number of children having this particular mother. We are done with submit. So close. Now once you come here, you find a baby dockers and these are the information. So you click here and do the same thing for the father. But I'll assume the father is already in the system here. Okay. So now that we are done, we click here to save this records. So if you can also come in here to add some couple of information for this child. Then we have the street address, nationality type, nationality denomination, then we zip code, email address, then scholarship benefit type, then the index number. So this is the index number of the child, which will be used in the exams. So if we also, if the, the student has any fee history to show here, attendance will show, and then admission balance. So going forward, we'll be looking at all this. For now, we are done. So let us add one more student. Now let's say Bernard. Bernard Opoku is a male. So let's say third November again. Let's say March. Now this one, let's say 11. So he's 11 years old. Let me assign him to THS1. Let's make him class 6. Department code, let's say E6. Now this one is Pride, you remember. So parents. We can actually leave them as system defaults if you don't have it for now. So once we are done, we save. Now please fill in the town. So here to we say Bojia say and now we save. So this child has also been added to the database. So now we've added two students. If you want to see all of them, you click find students here. So once you click find students, you see all your students in the database here. So if they become plenty, you can search for a specific student here. So you can highlight the record selector, then double click the students, it opens the profile and you can generate the printout by clicking here and here you get a printout of the student's profile. So this is a printout of the student's profile. Okay, then here. Okay. Okay, so if you want to remove the student, you can also delete it here. You can double click here to add a photo for this child. So let's say this child has a photo, you browse, then you add it up. Okay. So I will exit here. Okay. So now, how about admission? If you want to admit a student, now you go to admission. Okay. So let us assume a dummy child. So let's say the child is Juliet. So Juliet Anna. So Juliet Amma Anna. Okay, let me add another name. So, Julius is a female. Birth date, let's say 3rd March 00. Okay, so system default. Let me say previous school. If you want to edit the previous school, you type the school's name. So, let's say St. Anglican. So, preparatory. You, have, you hit a tab key. Now, the test you entered isn't an item in the list, so we click yes to add it up. Now we are done. Okay, now we select. So the date admitted, default, you leave it. Pre admission, the year will come. So now the class. So we are assigning him to, let's say, class two. Okay, so what is the region? Now let's say, Western region, nationality, Guinean. So residential address. Now let's say, Bolivia, say, New town. Okay, so here to we click, we can assign a parent, we can assign a parent. Okay, so it means that you can add several children to one parent. Now that you are done, you hit save to save these details. So this child has been admitted, and this is a number three. Now, what is the department code? So you come in here now, search for primary. Sorry, let's go. So you see a department code is PRI. If you have it in head, you simply type it out here. Now you can save once more. 
So if you want to visit the profile, you click visit profile to upload photo. So this is a profile. But now admission report you generate it here. Now let's preview this admission report. So this is the admission report in the system. This is the admission report in the system. Okay. So now that we are done, we have to proceed to billing because here in admission you can see this written here. Now please see, please ensure to find a third this printout to receipt for admission bills and payments, which means we have to proceed to payment. Okay, now before we go to payment, let us see the total admission fee for primary. So you know total admission fee for primary is what 796. Okay, so let's take note of this. Okay, so now we go to bills and payments. We put in here three. So we submit the bill. Now the student is billed successfully. So we go to payment. Okay, so now the balance of the student currently is 796 because he was admitted into primary. So whichever department that you choose, the bill will come automatically. So now if you want to remove an item from the payables, you simply want to click here, then you move it. So now the bill is now decreased. So he's always says seven six, and how much is he paying? Let's say he's paying everything. So six seven six. Now, so he says he's owing forty, which is true because it's seven six point four zero. So unless you add point four zero, okay. So let us enter it well six seven six point four zero. So now you can see there is no balance. Okay. So we paid by we choose to pay by cash so let's save and now we are done and there's a message here for the parents dear parent thank you for choosing our school projecting our lifeline okay so now we hit receipt and this is the receipts that we've been given so this is a receipt that we've been given okay so i do assuming this child only paid 500 cities so in that case it will show that he owes 176 okay so next time if he comes to make that payment you go to so next time if he comes to make that payment, let, let me synchronize first if he comes to make that payment then you go to admission payments second payment if the child's name did not come you have to come down here and search so now he's owing 176 so we can copy this amount second payment we paste it here that is what he's paying if it is not paying all to retype the amount that is paying now you click done okay building a transaction saved so now we can print the second receipt and this one will also be issued on the set date for this particular admission so you have the watermark of your school inside here okay so now we can exit and find students so now we've managed to get three students in here three students in here so we have three students if you click for instance sandra isel once you click this fee history icon it will go and show you the fee transaction of this child but this particular video is limited to only admission and then how to add students there are some couple of features here that we will explore if you want to obtain the full demo you feel free to um, Email me or WhatsApp me for the full demo video as well. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.